Are you recording this? Okay, so I am back here. I have uh, the Tesla option change open. Uh, first of all, can you all see it? Uh, if you can't see it, then let me know. So let's let's see if we can start from the beginning again. So it's 183 is the current price. Now I want to I want to look at it from the buyer perspective. I've been doing cover call on on Tesla, but now I want to do I want to know from the buyer the psychology behind the buyer. What how he make money? All right. First of all, how does a buyer buy call? So does does anybody know how to do this? I mean. In terms of how do they buy call? So the way I do cover call, essentially from using this platform, let's say, let's say I want to sell for 200, I select uh, the target I want, 200 strike price, and then I just select instead of sell to open, I now would select buy to open. I'm assuming that's what that's my assumption right now. Um, and that's correct. That's correct. So now buy to open. Uh, bid is this is the ask price, so it's 59. So if I go continue, I should see essentially I'm gonna sp spend $59. That's correct. You'll pay $59 to buy that option. To buy this option. All right. Right. All right. So at least mechanically, it's very similar to what how to do cover call. All right. So let me ask this: What is my incentive? As a, um, what what am I trying to do as a, a buy? What I'm trying what I'm trying to do. Your incentive is if you'll look on the option chain, go back to where where you sat there and you made that strike. Yeah. Two hundred, right? Yep. And it shows you how much they're gonna pay you, right? Right? Right there. Yeah, they pay me. I mean, how the much ask price is one forty two. Well, I thought it had fifty nine dollars as far as buying. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong wrong date. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's 59 go to the here. Date you had right. Yep, 59. Yep. 59. Okay. Now, if you look, the further down you go, it gets more expensive, right? Yep. So, in other words, what you're wanting to happen here is that strike to move up in value from 200. I mean, say from 183. Uh, if you move that strike down, say 195, how much would you pay? One distance. One, 108. Yeah. Right, so your difference between the 200 and the 195 is $5 yeah. in strike, and it pays, it costs you more to open it. So what you're, have, what you're trying to do here is capture the upside as the stock moves up. So it's going to be more expensive for somebody else to, it'll be more expensive to buy it, but if you've already paid 59 and it goes up to, say, 195 you will get paid that amount you just looked at right there. So you would close your strike and make a hundred dollars. So it cost you fifty nine. You made a hundred fifty nine to close. Your total win would be one hundred dollars when you close, because it's more expensive for somebody to buy it from you now. It gains value as the stock goes up, and the amount you make goes up from fifty nine to one fifty nine per se. And then you close and you get paid a hundred fifty nine dollars. So you make a hundred dollars. Hmm. Uh, so somebody, somebody's, you're betting that that stock's going up because the value of your contract that you paid for fifty nine dollar moves up in value. In other words, it goes from fifty nine to eighty to a hundred. And when you right, close that, that contract, when you close that contract, it'll be worth more than what you paid. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brian. Let's let's start from the beginning. Uh, what yeah. what did you just say? It literally you went know, right. when you sell a cash secured put and oh. the stock goes down, it costs you more to get out. Right? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let, let me uh, do step by step here. So the current price is 183. Okay. Right. Why don't I just buy it for 185? You can. All right. I, I just I just for, I just pay you can more buy it in the money too. You can buy it even down in the money. You so, can go all the way down and buy. You can put it, spend as much as you want. Okay, so if I as buy one, as long as as long as your play is, the stock is going to go up, not down. So if I buy one eighty five, let's say for example, I'm on uh, one eighty seven. That's what that's. Let's say use okay. one eighty seven. Right. So we're only four dollar off. That's what yield max do. All right. So one eighty seven right. buy to open. Let, um, that could cost that me two hundred eighty dollars to own this thing. Right. All right. That's so right. So what happened when? 
the strike price reached 187 before Friday. What happened to that stock? It, can I exercise? Yes, sir. You can exercise this option anytime you want. When it goes, no, you don't want to exercise. You don't want to buy shares. You want to take the profit. You you don't want to buy shares at a higher price, unless you think it's going to. I mean, you can. I'm just saying you're trying to make money here. Yeah. You're not trying to actually buy the shares. Okay. So if it's going up to 187 on Monday, I mean on Tuesday, and so three three four days before Friday, so I don't have to exercise it to take the share. Right. All right. But uh, what I'm asking, if you want to own them now, say you do want to buy them and you have uh, one, uh, you know, 18,700 bucks. Okay. Well, if the share price goes to 230, you can own them at 187. You can exercise. Oh, uh, if you want to own them. That's the event. Okay. So I got to understand that's this. The event you're that's the advantage of being the, being a buyer on the buy side of the color call. Right. So, because if what happened if this is a fast right. jump, like yeah. like Tesla is a fast jump, it's gonna go from one one eighty three to two hundred, let's say two twenty, uh, right, some, right, right, going up, right. going up like forty points in one in one week, right? All right. Well, guess what? It's two forty now. It's Friday, right? I can exercise uh, my my option, but guess what? I'm yes, gonna sir. I'm gonna pay only one eighty seven for it. That's correct. Ah, see? Okay, now, okay. So, okay, that's the advantage. Okay, so, but, but however, I gotta, it's I gotta let it go up to. because I just spent $280 to buy yeah, this car. Well, you pay 280 so your break even would be 200 somewhere. Yeah, you that's have somewhere to add the amount you just paid, 280 right? Yeah. So, a amount, your break even would be 280 well, it's it's essentially two yeah two dollar eighty cents. Like that. So yeah, it tells you where your break even is. Uh, let me do the calculation real quick. Um, I gotta pull the calculator up. All right, so two dollar eighty cents plus one eighty seven. So my breaking point is one eighty nine point eight. So now, if you get it for two twenty, guess you just you can just exercise the option and just own the shares at one eighty seven, and they work two forty or whatever, right? So at at one ninety, so at, at one ninety, right. I'm essentially profitable, right? At one ninety, you care to own the shares. Most people are just trading it to mean you know pay money to to make money, right? So yeah, they don't want to actually own two twenty thousand dollars worth of test. Yeah, they, they don't want to own the shares. So five hundred dollars, five hundred extra books, right? So, yeah, you know. So, so this thing is trade if you expect it to go up. Yeah. Right? So this thing is gonna go up. So on Monday it's one eight one ninety. I was like, cool, cool. I I, I break even with my money. On Tuesday right. it's one ninety five. Uh, I can go ahead and 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 do nothing. I mean, I can just I just can take the trade right there. But what happened right. if I don't do anything and and it's Friday and now it's sitting at two o two, the last one right here. Uh will lose your money you need to close it to make money you want oh to i need to that. close it as soon right. as possible right you want to make if you make a 50 percent profit off of say you pay 59 and you make a uh, 109 that's a 50 percent profit so but, it, but if you, i don't you can close that trade for a profit as far as money wise right but if i don't Man. close it on friday you what, lose your money because you're not going to get any of that money back you just spent I, i'm going to lose a 280 Right, two hundred. Yeah, right. But but however, I'm gonna get. I'm the will the share. Will the yeah, share assigned to me? Will will the stock assigned to me? At, yeah, it will be assigned to you if it's above. Yeah, it will be. So I mean, at two hundred, it's automatically assigned to me. I right. will get that share no matter if I walk away. I will get that share no matter what. Right. I pay two eighty. Uh, I essentially I pay two eighty for a two hundred dollar share. But I pay for the price of one eighty seven, right? So essentially, I spend one uh, one uh, one ninety. What was the number we said? Essentially, I spend I mean, one eighty. Right, I don't. I, I, I mean, let me be clear. I would exercise that option. I would not wait for it to. I would exercise it with five minutes left. So that way, you will get the shares at that price automatically because you just exercise your right to buy. It. But if so I don't exercise, right, what will happen? You have the right to, but not the obligation to buy it, yeah. right? 
So you don't you would it would not get assigned to you unless you exercise. But, oh, okay. I so, still have to exercise. Right, right, right. right. Let's okay. get that. Okay. Automatic is if you do a call and uh, it goes above your strike, they'll take it from you. The clearing house, even though nobody wants it, they'll take it. All right. So you have to actually buy the shares manually when you get above that strike that you want. Say, hey, it gets up to two twenty, say, and you can do it at any time too, come here. So you can exercise that option. In between say Monday and Friday, and if it's up at 250, you could hit that exercise button and you own it at 187. So they'll do it overnight. Yeah, okay? because because right. 187 is the price, and as long as long as it hit that strike price, I can exercise from that point anytime. That's right. That's correct. And and you get it. You get it for a dollar. But if I don't exercise it, right? yeah. if I don't exercise it, then then I just lose my money, essentially. Yeah, to, you, you want to either close the trade or exercise. You want to make your money or exercise, right? You want to either close how, it. How do it, I exercise? Is it like a, a button? It'll set? have exercise. Or it'll have exercise. When you make the trade, All right. it'll have exercise. It'll have an option to exercise. You'll see it. It'll tell you, and it'll ask you if you want to exercise option. That means buy it. Yeah. So you'll buy the shares at that price if it's above, right? So in the meantime... So it's a hundred share. This thing is eighteen, uh, one thousand. Uh, it's a hundred eighty-seven. So about eighteen thousand yeah. dollar is right, right, right. is my eighteen thousand dollar is sitting in in the brokerage. Right. I can't do anything. I'm stuck with that. So I right, just like saying, okay, today I right. would buy it at one eighty-three, right? Yep. So I got eighteen thousand. I said, I'm just gonna flat out buy it. But yep. instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this call up about two hundred or wherever you want to go. Yep. And say that it's going, you know, I have this little, you know, this little inkling that this stock is going to tear up, right? Yep. So you'll buy that call cheap. And as the stock moves up during the week, it'll move that, that value will move up. So say, you know, you can either close the trade for profit or yep. you can wait it out and exercise it whenever you feel like it. And you can do it yeah. at any point in time. So you have the right to, but not the obligation to buy those shares. All right. Because you can close a trade or everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can explain what you just said. So I can buy it right now. Let's say, uh, obviously, today is Sunday. You can't really buy anything. Sure. But, but let's say your next trade. Uh, on the next trade available, open trade, I can buy it 183. Uh, yes, if sir. that's open yeah, market, I can just go and buy it. But since I want to make some money out of this, and I knew it's going to go up. I know it's going to go up. Let's say I have some kind of secret code with right. Elon Musk. It's going to go up. So as a result, 183. So what I can do is I can do an option trade, put a contract for buy order for for 187. So I will pay I'll pay two dollars two hundred and eighty dollars for that contract. I will right. pay it. But however, for 187. So what happened at 187? Let's say that Monday morning hit 187. Guess yeah. what? I have the option to take that now, but I'm not going to do that because I knew it's going to keep going up. So right. I'm, on Tuesday, go to 190. On Wednesday, go 195. Now it's Friday. Right. It's hitting two, right. 200. So now Friday, 200, before it's clo before the end of the day, I can go ahead and exercise that. And now I take the stock, uh, the, 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 the Tesla stock, and not for 200, right. but for 183. That you just said. Yeah. Yep. So you're on it. A uh, hundred eighty-three dollars a share versus two hundred, right? Yeah. So you've already owned the shares at a lower cost. So and you pay, you know, whatever your break even is, right? So you'd have to mix mix and match how much you know your break even is, you know, you know, either you take the profit or you, if it's right at break even, you just want to take the profit. You're really not getting a deal until you know you have to see where your break even is. Say if you take the one eighty-three and you get paid. And the break even is two oh three. So mm -hmm. the stock needs to go above two oh three to exercise. Yeah. So you just spent two hundred eighty to three hundred dollars. Well, I mean the so, number is right here, so I don't have to do anything. So we, we were using right. we were using yeah, one eighty three break and, even for that trade. Yeah, so two eighty if if I'm using if I spend two hundred and eighty dollars two dollars and eighty cents for one eighty seven, so essentially if I get one ninety, if this price go one ninety it's break even. Anything right. after that, it's it's money for me. Right, and but okay. So uh, uh, an option trader who does not want to own the stock, they they would sell. They would. How, so how would you do that? You sell the contract back? 
Oh yeah, you, you you're talking about like if you just want to take profit, right? Yeah. I'll so you buy the clothes, you bought, right? So, so what would you do? You all you'll do is sell the clothes. Oh, it's sell the clothes. open and always the opposite to close. So if you sell to open, it's buy to close. If you buy to open, it's sell to close. So it's actually the exact opposite of what your action was to begin with. So that's your that's what your option is now: buy to open. So if you wanted to close your trade for a profit, mm -hmm. you would sell to close. It'll tell you that too. Close it, right? I would sell to close. So open run. Yeah. Right. So essentially, what I would do is I would go back to. Uh, let me see if I can. I would go back to the option trade. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, let me see if I can find it. Let me go back to my position real quick. So I would go back to this contract. Like here's a Rivian contract. It's the only one I right, have. Right, right, right. I would yeah. select sell to close. Close position right here. I would. Is that's what it. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Buy to close. It says yeah, buy to close. Yeah. You'll buy it because you sold open. Remember? Oh, you yeah. This it. is a sold. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Right. You sold it. Yeah. yeah. You sold it to open. Now you, the reverse is closing. Okay. This is this is this is not a good example because this is a sell order that we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, but it's the same. It's a good example of of uh, of uh, how to close one after you open. It's the exact opposite of action, right? So All right. if you sell I, to open, buy to close. I might have to right. experiment with this. I need I need sure. cash though. I need yeah. cash to experiment with this. Uh, but that would be a trade. Like say some news came out Monday morning, right at open. Yeah. Tesla got a. a Billion dollar contract with yeah. the government. Yep. Man, first thing out the gate, people be buying calls. Whatever price, because they know it's going to probably go up 15, 20 percent one day. Yeah. So they'll buy the call, say 200, whatever, and Tesla shoots up to 250 in one day. Well, they can either exercise that thing or they can just take the profit for one day. And it might be $1,500 and they pay 25, you know, 20, 250 bucks. So they're looking for the trade here for the cash, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the trader's view. So if you think it's going, if it's going up, you make that call, and then you can watch it the whole time as it goes up, right? So yeah. you can make a decision later if you want to exercise it, or if you just want to take profit, right? Just like when you take profit off a covered call, right? So you close to take profit. You'll you'll uh, sell to uh, close to take profit on this one. It's the exact same trade, just the opposite direction. Yeah, it's pretty easy as far as if you if you want to do it that way. If you're a lot of people do it during earnings, they're guessing whether it's going up. They think it's going to be a ten percent move up the day before. They'll buy the call after earnings. If it goes up fifteen twenty percent, they just made a lot of money. So, and uh, they made a lot of money without even owning a share. They just spent money. So, that is a trade. Okay. Oh wow, that's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what an eye opener! But I, I gotta. I mean, I'm not gonna remember this. I, I have to be honest. That's unless, okay. Unless uh, I, you can always refer to a YouTube somebody that's actually making that trade and watch them do it. Yeah. With their own portfolio too, and show you what their profit would be, how it's gonna work out. I think video is the best way to to do it when you can watch somebody actually making those trades, and you can kind of watch, pause, uh -huh. move back, and watch it again. And watch it again and watch it again. That way until you, you get it hammered into your head what they're doing, right? And they can explain it more. I mean, you can pause at any time and think about it and then backtrack a little bit. Say, let's do it all over again. Watch it over and over again, right? So it'll 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 make more sense when you do it that way. But just trying to do it in an option chain is kind of more difficult because, you know, it just is. But watching somebody actually do the trade and tell you why it's, what's happening while it's happening is a lot better, if you ask me. All I got to do is probably put in a search bar on YouTube, uh, back call, and then you'll have a million of them pop up. Might be some two or three minute ones you can look at over and scan over several of them. Uh, I mean, that, that's what I would say. Uh, I'd like to add in what Brian's just uh, show you. Come here, if you, uh, if you like. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I posted the uh, pictures, it's, the it's video. Up. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. You uh, take a look at it. That's your bet right there. For example, right? Uh, there are sales and buy. There are calls and put. So with that uh, four uh, square, uh, it's depending on what you want to do. For example, when you are selling put, 
you are betting the price or you are expecting it to either stay the same or goes up. Okay, so like let that that chart will show you and kind of keep you uh, keep you reminded of what you are trying to do there. So like uh, today, you just learn about the buy. Can, can we pin? Oh. Can we pin uh, this up and uh, put it? Oh yeah, put, put, yeah. It, put it in the start in the start here section because these are things we need for long term. You know, um, the, I I can't post it in the start here, but you could. Well, if I post it, then it will be my name on it. I want you to get the credit, so that's why you post it. I'm fine. <laughs> you, you do. Well, no, I no. So I can't. I don't have a permission to do it, but I can pin it right you here do. on the Everybody uh, have photo. It. Uh, not in the start here. I, I can't do anything. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot! I mean, I have to download this. All right. So one thing I have to do is download the picture. All right. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, just download and just keep it somewhere when you wanted to do uh, options. This is all right. This let me like let me give you permission new. because matter of permission doesn't make sense. Because what if you need to post stuff in the future? Uh, all right, so I gotta figure out about this permission thing. All right, give me a give me a few minutes, but I gotta figure. Yeah, I gotta yeah, I gotta yeah. give you the permission to do things. So, all right, all right, that's awesome. All right, it's good. Uh, it's good to know. It's good to know this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just learning the, I'm just learning cover call. I've been doing about a month and I think I'm comfortable now. Now I want to learn a little bit about the buyer side. Why would you want to be a buyer side? And maybe but man, one thing about buyer side, you need money. Especially you need money for sell put too. Uh sell call you need the 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 share, yeah. The contract. But uh, in UMAX, they, they don't need it because they're using synthetic. It's almost like an imitation that you have the contract. I also post the, uh, the Greek letters. That's a lot of uh, information in terms of his, the Greek's meaning. Uh, and, and Kenny's, you know, that's why he calls himself the data <laughs> trader because of the TAM decay. Yeah, so he he can explain more to you on that one. But uh, keeping that information should right. help you. Uh, well, give me a second. Uh, let me let me stop this recording here. All right.